We started looking on the ground, saw glass everywhere. Columbus visitors are questioning whether they will stay and where they will stay the next time they come to the city. And more than a dozen cars were broken into in one night at hotels near the airport. It's an issue Columbus police have dealt with before. NBC4's Eric Halperin is by the hotels with what visitors have had to say. Eric? Jen and Jared, this is North Cassidy Avenue by the airport. There are a handful of hotels in the area, and the people that I talked to say after what happened today to them over the weekend, they won't be staying here again. On any given weekend, visitors will be in Columbus for a variety of reasons. This past weekend, Saifullah Abdullah was in town visiting family. We enjoyed our time, like we went out to eat and all that kind of stuff. But he did not enjoy what happened Friday morning. He'd driven up from Atlanta and was staying at a hotel on North Cassidy Avenue near John Glenn International Airport. When he walked outside that morning... We saw cops and everybody standing outside, and when we got to... Uh, we got outside, we first thought it was like an altercation. Turns out his car and others were broken into. The windows shattered. We talked with Deanna Mulgrew on the phone. She'd been in town for her daughter's volleyball tournament. Her car was broken into as well. They didn't even steal anything. It was just like a spree of vandalism for, for no reason. It was awful. According to Columbus Police, at least 14 cars between two hotels on North Cassidy were broken into sometime overnight Thursday into Friday morning. In July, we talked with police after a similar thing happened to 10 cars at hotels in that same area. If you're coming here to Columbus, you now have the impression that this is how Columbus is when you go back home. And this is a story you're telling your family, your friends, and, and that's unacceptable. Police suggest always rolling up windows and locking the car, not leaving anything in the car where it can be seen, and parking in well-lit, busy areas. I was able to get over it, but it certainly put a black eye in, uh, on Columbus for me. And police say these tips are good to keep in mind no matter where you're leaving your car. Another piece of advice for them, put things in your trunk before getting to a parking lot where thieves could be watching. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.